could carbs cause lung cancer? New evidence suggests a diet heavy in certain carbs. Are you kidding me? A Dr. Oz investigation. <coughs> lung cancer. Are you kidding me? Lung cancer. Are you kidding me? Researchers believe certain carbs, certain, certain carbs. carbs. Hello, healthy people and guests. March 15. Now, I tend to focus on the negative because that's where I make a lot of my points. There's a lot of negative stuff out there. So I might be a little hard on Dr. Oz, what I think will happen. And I, I, I just tend to assume the worst in these circumstances. I don't have anything against Dr. Oz. Matter of fact, I started out liking him many years ago. But what I don't like is, is the crap you get in the health circles anytime people are talking about food you're getting a lot of crap out there and some of it does turn up on his show but I do have a preview of this episode for you check it out and you can see what we're talking about here Could carbs cause lung cancer? No! A Dr. Oz investigation Wait a second they're gonna do their own investigation? Really? <clears throat> well, in my investigations, I don't see much truth being uncovered. What I see is a lot of people with ulterior motives uncovering a lot of bullshit. Now, this story came out in the news a few days ago, and I made a video about that. As I'm writing in my upcoming book, science has linked fat to insulin problems. Researchers believe, researchers believe. Check out the way Dr. Oz's website is advertising this upcoming episode. Breaking news! Could carbs cause lung cancer? That reminds me of a video I made a couple months ago where I wasn't being serious. Breaking news! Carrie Fisher gets body shamed on the internet. Now, I don't want to criticize this show prematurely. You know, Dr. Oz might be fair about the issue. He often is fair. And he lets their guests make their case, and he doesn't usually jump to conclusions. And he is middle of the road. He's not a low carver. He even juices, and his wife is a vegetarian. But when I went to his website, I happened to see a list of the guests that will be on the show which I didn't know at first, and the first name stuck out. He was one of the main people in a recent video I made. Remember this guy? Dr. Mark Hyman. You know what he'll be talking about. Actually, he might be in a different segment of this show, because there was more to that preview. Here's the rest of it. Plus. You eat a low-carb diet to lose weight. But what do you do when it causes chronic constipation? You stop! Now I'd like to speak uh, directly to Dr. Oz for a second. What the fuck are you doing? I've been making these videos for three years now. And I feel like I'm dreaming here. This just keeps on going. And it seems to get worse. Now, as I've said, Dr. Oz is often fair and balanced. But I predict that this Hyman fucker is going to be a total dick. Let's talk about ethics for a second. The medical establishment has a saying. First, do no harm. Most diet experts and doctors, at some point, they recommend a low-carb diet because uh, that's the trend and that's what a lot of people are willing to do. And here's another case where doctors prescribe something and, there's, and it has symptoms that go along with it. And then you got to put a band-aid on that problem. First, do no harm. What I teach is that being thin is natural. And to get to that natural place doesn't take unnatural things or struggles. It's natural. It's supposed to come naturally, not a struggle. 
I found a website on the internet that was covering the story, and they were pretty fair about this, and they said some interesting things here. Second paragraph, the study included more than 4,000 white people from Texas. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that puts a certain image in my head. Later on in the article, <laughs> after the, uh, all the hype, they started getting serious. Researchers asked nearly 2,000 people in the Houston area. Well, that was a different. This must have been a different article. <laughs> Here it is, it's 2,000. They were asked about the foods that they typically ate in the last year. Researchers aren't sure why there is a connection, but the thinking is that... <laughs> and right there, it doesn't even matter what the thinking is. Those foods that they studied, those are pretty common foods, and everyone eats carbs. But what else do you think those people might have been eating that the scientists just didn't focus on? Post your answers below. It goes to show you, like I said in my video, they have nothing. This was a contrived study, obviously. You can see that. But the news and Dr. Oz, they're all using this non-story to get ratings, to get viewers. Previous research has linked a number of foods such as red meat and dairy products. And now Dr. Oz once again. Could carbs cause lung cancer?